Hello, and welcome to the stream. Tonight we're returning to Atomashev, picking up where we left off with this uh, rather complicated uh, mission here, where we have to produce 50 orders, and we have to meet a, min a maximum number of uh, ingredients and a maximum amount of power. Remember from the last time, we managed to get under everything but the ingredients count. So, I, uh, when I posted this stream footage on YouTube, a uh, commenter named Wolfgang Everharder provided some insights as to what we could possibly do to uh, alleviate some of the problem here. And the first thing that was suggested was reducing the power on uh, machines like the Frymatic. Since we're letting the fries go crazy, we can slow it all down by using the Frymatic. Another thing that was suggested is that the we don't necessarily need a, a robotic arm coming out of the packaging machines unless we're putting it into things like the storage unit because they're, they are belted. So we can use that to our advantage. And what I may do here is replace this inserter and this storage unit with just belts and let the items kind of group up here on the belts instead of storing them in the storage unit. But I think we'll start with having slowed down the, the power to the Frymatic. That might serve us better. The other thing that was suggested was instead of using... Oh, so we can, by, by making it 9 seconds, we can also change this to 9 seconds. Because the most amount of time that we can process fries through the, through the system is 9 seconds anyway. Uh, the other things that were suggested were... Um, we could we could also shorten the, the time on the electric grill or shorten the power usage in the electric grill by having it on for a certain amount of seconds uh, 15 was what was suggested in order to make sure that the, the burgers are cooked but we may need to fiddle with that I think that's about all we'll change for this time um, we could try that at some point, but it not, may not be necessary. Uh, the other thing that was suggested was to slow down the speed of the belts in cases like uh, where, where the food processor has a limit of time that it can output items, so why shove the stuff in so fast? We could slow down the conveyor belts a little bit. And we're still limited by the food processor. Same thing with like this. We could slow this one down because we're still limited by the packaging machine. It's still a little bit faster than it, so I think that's okay. Let's try this like it is. We were pretty close as far as that we had we had a little bit of power left over, but we just ran out of ingredients. Three. So let's go ahead and start it. See how this goes. Speed it up. Okay, so the grill is staying on long enough, it appears. Yep, it just kicked off. That might actually be a little bit too long, 15 seconds. Potentially shorten it to about 12 or 13 if we needed to. Speed this up to speed two. So how are we doing on ingredients? We may still be using too many ingredients. But at least there's only one or two boxes of fries in the storage bin at any given time. Um, as opposed to, I think we were pretty much full all the time uh, the last time we ran this through. But 
I need to remember that, that we can we can control the, the efficiency of things like the fryers. And the grills and whatnot. We can control how that works. Oh, I see why we want the grill to be on a little bit longer. Because the dispenser only outputs every five seconds max. If we get two orders in quick succession, or not quick succession, but at a time, a specific time apart, the dispenser may not be ready to dispense another patty yet, but the grill's gonna kick on. Oh, hey, Fazian, welcome to the stream. All right, we still have an issue with ingredients. We're getting closer. We have only used 151. I think we were a little bit further into the 150s. So we could try and find some other efficiencies. Okay, let's, maybe if we tried... That's not gonna necessarily save us any time there by changing that. Where can we save ingredients? I think we're kind of close enough that we could almost just get it by random luck. But where else can we save ingredients at? So we're, we're dispensing, it's really just the fries that we're dispensing a little too frequently, I think. We have too many built up. Because when we dispense the items for the, for the, the chicken, I mean, we're only dispensing the stuff we need. When we dispense the items for the burgers, we're only dispensing the stuff that we need based on the orders. Of course, it always depends on how many orders we get, which is what I was talking about the last time, in that if we get a bunch of orders past 50, which is our goal, it'll start dispensing those items before we get there. We could, so, so the Frymatic takes six seconds. Here's some other ideas. Instead of controlling the dispensers for like these items, we could slow them down to dispense only one every six seconds because that's how long the fryer is going to take anyway and this takes no time at all. So instead of having this controlling these three dispensers, we could actually have this only dispense every, you know, maybe seven or eight seconds for these three. And then that would save us some ingredients perhaps at the end. Maybe we slow this down by one more. I think that might kind of help. We can also slow down this conveyor a little bit. Even, even these. We can slow them down a little bit because they're just the output conveyors. So another second isn't going to make a difference or should make too much of a difference getting the food from its final state here out. So now we could control more stuff. We could control like the food processor now and only have that be on when the order is pending. We could control we could control the frymatic instead. Ooh, that's an idea. Let's cancel this for a second. Let's break the connection for this one. And we can actually control... We need to listen for the fries or the dopamine meal. We can control the fryers. Let's do these. This way, we can control the fries a little bit more by only dispensing them when an order is, is pending. It might 
be too slow now? We can see. We might end up with some canceled orders or some, some upset customers now. Let's see how that goes. I'm gonna do maximum speed. We know this will work. Now it's just a matter of... Now it's just a matter of processing. Right? Where do we have excessive ingredients in anywhere? Now we're getting excessive stuff in here. Oh, we just lost an eye. Request. Now I think the fries are too slow. Yeah. Alright. That was really bad. Let's put this back up to normal. Now that we're controlling the time on it, put this back up to normal. We're controlling the time on the, on the food processor. Um, instead of the food processor being on while order is pending, let's just turn it on for a few seconds. I'm not sure if that's enough. We'll have to see. And then the food processor here will turn on for a few extra seconds because it has a few items to process. So maybe like eight seconds. Let's try that. This, this is kind of really kind of trial and error, fortunately. Oh, let's speed it up. Right, it's just going out better. We still are using a few too many ingredients. We could slow down the, the chicken ingredients quite a bit. We have a, quite a backup here, both going into the assembler. And here, going into the food processor. Yeah. Definitely need to slow the, slow the ingredients down. Go out to maybe 10 seconds now. I think we're getting closer. chicken stuff. Good that this game has a fast counter. Let's go ahead and just control... Control the dispenser for the fries. Because we have the additional connection for that machine anyway. That order reader machine. We could actually probably control the packaging machine too. We have four connections. Ah, 
How did we run out? What happened to the fries? Why are the fries not working? Oh. Okay, we're gonna take the food processor off. Or maybe we can make it stay on for longer. Then we'll connect also the packaging machine. And we'll do a bunch of time on that. See if that helps. Why is it not dispensing? Something's up with the dispenser. Why is it not dispensing? Oh! Haha! <laughs> Perform action one time. That's why. Okay. Try this again. It wasn't staying on for long enough. looking better. Fries are still being wonky though. Just a processor now. Yeah, we're losing. We're losing stuff. All about time. Still not sure that these aren't dispensing too fast as well. take the food processor off. Oh, we need the packaging machine to be on longer. I'm just gonna have it on while order's pending. Because the fry the fryer's gotta be on, it's, the food's gotta make it through, and then the packaging machine, I think, is getting backed up in the packaging machine. Get close. Still just dispensing too many chicken ingredients. Right, let's slow that down a little bit more.
But the other option is we're, we're close on power or on cost. What we could potentially do is put those belts in, save on the cost of the storage unit and the robotic arm and put another order reader in, which I believe is 500 or 5,000. So we would have just enough money. That might just do it by just limiting these to only output when we have an order for chicken. I think we should just do that. Put these all back to five. They just output when the order comes in, as soon as possible. We do away with this inserter and this storage bucket. And we instead put conveyors in here. Slow these down. They don't need to be very fast. They can even be slower because they're not going to get anything faster than that packager is producing. Let me put another order reader in here. Listening for fried chicken. Connecting to these three dispensers and having them perform the action once each. Kind of getting tired of this level. I'm not sure how to keep the ingredient count down anymore. I mean, I guess if we went back out to longer time between the stuff, then at least those items at the end, those orders at the end wouldn't necessarily trigger. Really, right now, our big issue is items. We're fine on power. be the packaging machine might like, still a little weird with the uh, with the time we have set on it. The fries. This fryer is messed up too. It needs to be on longer. Fryer. 
This is why I just like the on while order is pending because trying to set the time on it. On the packaging machine is fine. It must be the fryer. Um, trying to set the time on it is really fiddly. Like trying to say, okay, well it's only beyond for, or it's gonna get all the stuff it needs to be done in, in however long after the order. And the, but then if something, and I'm not sure that it's doing what it says it, what it seems like it should be doing either. I'm not sure that it's turning back on every time an order comes in for that amount of seconds. processor is not staying on long enough either. I think we would have hit it if we wouldn't have, if the food processors were staying on, so let's just change the way those work too. You can just be on while order is pending. And this one can also be connected now and on while order is pending. At least it might turn off some. I think trying too many of those ideas at one time was not good. Should have just tried one at a time. Yes, I, I totally agree. Those first handful of levels were were fairly smooth, and then you get where we're at level seven or something now, and it now it seems almost micromanagey. and orders now. Oh, we're having the same problem with this grill. It's just, it's, it's not doing what it's saying it's doing, so it's... It's... It would, it would, I would interpret it... Yeah. Yeah, that's that's the, that's what we were joking about the last episode. I would interpret this as every time a new order comes in, turn the thing on for 15 seconds or whatever seconds, and then turn it off. I don't think it's doing that. I think it's I think it's turning it on for 15 seconds after it's turned off. So if it's on for 15 seconds and three orders come in, those second two orders don't extend the time out to 15 more seconds it just stays on until the fi first 15 seconds ends and then it turns off and then the next order that comes in after that is kicking it back on for 15 seconds so i don't know that i like that on for amount of time thing i don't think it's doing what what it says that it's what, what you wouldn't you would think that it should do Yeah, the dopamine meal thing is awesome. All right, unless we get like super close and can just tweak this one. Mm. 
No, there's not a warm period. It's on or it's off. It's it's hot or it's cold. Um, if we don't get like super close to this one, I think we'll move on to another level. Just because we've been playing this level now for a half an hour on this stream. And at least half an hour on the last stream. So that's plenty of time to devote to one level. I think. We just lost an order because we didn't have enough fries. Come on. Finish the orders. Come on. Oh, we were so close. We wouldn't have lost any orders. We would have made it. So let's turn the fry thing up just a little bit. Eight seconds instead. Uh, what's the fryer? Six. Yeah, that should be good. Alright. One last time. If this doesn't work, then we'll move on to the next level. A little too fiddly for me. Uh, this, this level is... Yeah, just one more level. Just one return. It's really when you start losing orders, that's when you really take a hit. Because you just wasted all the ingredients for it. Now, if I could tell, say it, stop. Stop making stuff. Two ingredients. Do we do it? Do it just one more time to see if random chance lets us through? <laughs> All right. This is where I thought we might be when we started half an hour ago. last time, so that makes sense. I'm sure it'll be like 149 this time instead of 147 last time. Just how my luck works. Hundred forty seven again. Okay. We're going to move to the next level. Alright, so that was Calories and Sanity. Let's try Power Hungry. Power Hungry. 40 orders have to be fulfilled. Power usage should be less than 3,500 3, watt hours. Fewer than 240 ingredients. They're making some sort of a massive burger and maybe the BLT again. This is a new location for us, but pay attention. This part of town has a particularly old power grid. If we use too much electricity, we will cause a blackout. Bring our operations here to an end, so do be careful and pay close attention to that energy usage. As we saw during our power usage experiment in the test site, we can take measures to reduce our energy usage here. I've even managed to get us some new machinery to reduce the overall footprint of our kitchens and make us more efficient. Oh, and I've also just heard that a celebrity I've never heard of was seen eating one of our BLTs. I expect that dish to be particularly popular amongst the customers today. 
Okay, so we need a beach burger, which has three patties and a mushroom. Wow. That's a mega burger. And a tomato, of course. And the BLT is still just the two breads, potato, lettuce, and the cooked bacon. So what do we get that's new? Ooh, a long robotic arm. Presumably it's still dumb. We can see. Nope, it is smart. And has an extra long reach. Alrighty, so. These are both made in an assembler. The I think maybe the beach burger will make down here. We need the bun. Tomato. Mushroom. And three patties. We'll put that there instead. So if we do... The mushroom has to be grilled and chopped. The four ingredients for the burger. Need a grill. Oh, a conveyor grill. Automatically cooks everything that passes through it. Well, that's handy. Costs 8,000 and consumes 4,000, 6,000. This costs 1,000. Yeah, I'm going to still use the electric grill, I think. It might be slower, but it's going to use a lot less power. Especially with this. And it'll use less, less money, too. Um, especially in this mission where we have a limit on the amount of power we can use at the same time. I think it'd be worth it. So... Definitely need a smart robotic arm here. And a dumb one here. Conveyor belt coming with the bun and the sliced tomato. Do that there. Maybe if we make this... No, we can't make that a smart one. Can't make this smart either. Not there, anyway. Um, there. Need another smart arm. Because we need to be able to cook... Cook the mushrooms and the patties on that grill. I think we can probably just use two food processors to make our lives easier. There and there. That'll be the tomato. This will be the mushroom. Who cramped? BLT look like? We need four dispensers for that. We need a grill to, to cook the bread on. We need... and the bacon. And we need a slicer food processor for the tomato. Okay, since we're cooking two... These are also 500 watts, 400 watts. If we can avoid those, we will as well. This down like that. We can have a dumb arm here and here. This bacon, bread. Tomato and lettuce. 
like that, maybe. Oops. You're gonna make a right turn. And you're gonna make a left turn. Okay, and you're gonna make a right turn. You're gonna go straight. Okay, I think we can move all of this over to there. Then we can do a dumb arm on a right turn. Okay, so that'll handle the BLT. Now we need to fix this so that we have two things inserting onto the grill and two things inserting off the grill. everything over one? Would that do it? That's not right, but... No, because we need to be able to move this up one. What if instead the grill was up here? This one was for... No, that's a core heater. This needs to be over one more still. This was for the... Tomato and bun. I'll put the bun like that. And I'll put the tomato like that. Might work. You guys will insert onto this spot here where there's a belt. And then a dumb arm will go there. That'll work, I think. Let's see, a dumb arm can go in here. And in here, this will be a left turn. That one's straight. This one is a right turn and it's going to pick up the cooked mushroom, grilled mushroom. This is going to be a left turn and pick up the cooked patties. All right, this is dispensing mushroom. This is dispensing patties. This is dispensing tomato. This is dispensing buns. Oh wait, the patties need to... Oh, it needs to dispense three, but we'll get that when we put the order reader in. Now, this is making beach burgers. I'm too... Oh, oh no, I need to output to the right. And I need a dumb arm here doing a left turn. This needs to be a dumb arm doing a left turn. Alright. That should take care of the burgers. I hope. Now... We need bacon. This will be bread. This will pick up bacon. Uh, let's see, the cooked crispy bacon, that's what it's called. And the toasted bread. 
Yes. And then we had tomato and lettuce. This will be the tomato, so it can be sliced. This will be the lettuce, because it doesn't need to be sliced. You are making the BLT. I'll put it on to the left, sure. And a dumb arm here to put it into the into the system. Alright, so now we need order readers. Order readers like crazy because we want to be able to disable as much stuff to save as much power as possible. So the BLT dispensing. Dispense. All four items. Uh, one bacon. Two bread slices. One tomato. One lettuce. This one's going to make the monitor the beach burger, and it's going to dispense one mushroom, I think it was. Oops, not that. Patties, I think we need three of those, one tomato and one bun. Double check our item counts. Two breads, one of everything else. Two breads, one of everything else. Three patties, one of everything else. Three patties, one of everything else. Okay. Another order reader. Going in the grill. The assembler. And the food processor. Beach burger. Assembler. Food processor. Grill. Other food processor. Just as a kind of an initial, let's see how this works. How this kind of holds up. Get the order started. everything works. some orders for the other thing, the BLT. Okay. Our BLT craze is about to start. Oh boy. Yeah, we just went over our power usage didn't kill the power grid, so apparently not. We can slow down the belts. That'll save some power. Just let it run out what our total power usage looks like and our ingredients look like. Put on the belt to save some juice. We can... We could slow down the grill. The poke time on the grill. Lower the power on the grill. And the assemblers, for that matter. Make them more efficient. 
Alright, so yeah, we, we caused a blackout, which I'm not surprised. Let's change the grills to be power saving. As well as the assemblers. Whoa, 15 seconds. As opposed to 10. That'll help a lot with power. And then we can slow all the belts down to like speed 3. Especially for these items that aren't the, the bottlenecks anyway. Like the tomato's not the bottleneck here. Grilling the, the bread actually is the bottleneck because we're only dispensing one slice of bread every 5 seconds. But actually, this 10 seconds is, or 12 seconds isn't that bad of a deal. Let's see, another belt we can slow down. And again, this part over here isn't the bottleneck. It's grilling the, it's dispensing the three patties. And in fact, well, no, we can't without adding another grill. We can't dispense more than that, patty wise. Let's see how that does. We do have. About 9,000 more dollars we can spend. So there's definitely places we could spend to save power. But yeah, these belts are plenty fast enough because they're just used as a buffer anyway. Uh, this belt could honestly be at the lowest speed because this arm will grab it no matter where it's at on the belt. And these items are making it all the way to the end, so this arm could grab them earlier in the in the process of the belt. So we could slow some of these belts even more way down, like these last ones here in all three all three of these last belts in a row. I just spotted a way we can save a belt to here. We can move this here and move this stuff in. Save a belt. So that'll help with our power usage. I think we're doing pretty good. Maybe a little iffy on the ingredients count. No, actually, it's doing okay, too. I think we might get this one. Pretty good, because it was basically I only count two attempts, because the first one was just to make sure everything was pressed. So, we got that one in two attempts. So that last level was definitely just way too fiddly. 92% efficient. Uh, we used way under the energy, total energy spend... Uh, we barely made the ingredients, which they, they always cut the ingredients really short anyway because of the, um, I mean, because we had to create 40 orders and the order average stuff on the order was like five items. So right there, that's 200 without the buffer of orders that are coming in after 40. Um, so yeah, I think that was pretty good. No, it was a regular level. It just kind of splits into two lines here. For whatever reason. <laughs> um, but it's... it's You have to complete both of these levels. Eventually, so you can get down here to this next tutorial. And get past that point. But no, it's... The only optional levels are the yellow ones. Everything else is, is required as part of the campaign. All right, so level nine, critic's choice. 50 orders, less than 3,750 watts, fewer than 200 ingredients. Looks like you have a burger and some sort of a sandwich. Back at the park, I have fond memories here. Like the rest of our species, I use magnetic core memory to recall everything I have done in the last 50 days. We really have a lot in common, don't we? 
Today is a showcase for us. I theorize that we can get two complex dishes out of this limited space. So confident am I that I have invited a critic who also writes for a magazine that focuses on efficient use of small spaces. I'm sure both readers of the magazine will appreciate what you are capable of and become customers in the future. Both readers. Alright, so we need to make a chicken melt, which we've made before. Piece of bread, grilled chicken, cheese, and bacon. And the plain burger, which is nice and easy to make. So, let's think about how we do this. Mr. Krabs? I don't, where am I not, rec I'm not recognizing that name. What's that from? So I think we could use the same processor for the cheese and the grilled chicken pieces because there shouldn't be salmonella. Oh, that's why I never watched Spongebob. We could use the same food processor for these two. And then we could use the same grill for these two. For all three of these, rather. No, we can't use the same grill for all three of them. Because we can't have three inserters pulling cooked items off of a grill. Oh, wait, we can. We have long inserters. Let's use the long inserters. Okay. So first we'll start with the simple. The simple being the plain burger. Put a dispenser. Uh, no, we can't do that. Oof. Man, they they weren't kidding about making this, making this snug. Spencer here. Spencer here. Real. Dumb arm, dumb arm, smart arm. And then a dumb arm out here. Dumping onto the thing. And then another assembler. Might actually put that one there to try and make it fit a little better. So the chicken melt needs a food processor for the for the chicken and the cheese. There are four items in this, just to keep it in mind. No, not a conveyor. Oh, we could do the conveyor grills. What is our what was our power limit looking like here? See that again? That's how you do it. Is it thirty seven fifty maybe? Maybe we should try the the belt grills. Conveyor grill. the chicken, put the cheese on, slice them both up, you grill the bread, can't fit that in there though, yeah, I think we need to, we still, we don't need a smart arm there, we can do a dumb arm, we do the other conveyor grill here, thank you. Maybe we swap these. Put the more space down to the bottom. Too bad these aren't going into the uh, the uh, the other assembler, the packager. That'd be handy. And then if we do that other grill. it probably has to be there. And the belt here. I'm assuming these can't output directly out of the grill. 
under the side of the grill. I think that's everything we need. This will be chicken. And cheese. Bacon. And bread. And this will be burger bun. And raw patty. You are going to make the BLT, or the chicken melt. Ah. Uh, finish dishes on the right side. And you are going to make the plain burger, finish dishes on the left side. Left turn here, straight through, straight through. Need some dumb arms here, straight through. And then a dumb arm here, left turn. And conveyor belt, conveyor belt. Okay. The chicken melt has four dispensers. One chicken. Two breads. One bacon. And one cheese. Correct? Yes. A plain burger has one patty and one bun. And we also need to control the grill and the assembler. And we'll grab one more order reader. Monitoring chicken melt, controlling grill, grill, and assembler, and just for fun, food processor. On, 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 okay. So this is our uh, sort of beta test, just to see that everything's flowing, making sure that, that everything's working like we expect. Melts are working. We, of course, can slow down our belts quite a bit to save on power. Burgers are working as well. Having some slowness with chicken melts. It might just be the bread being the problem because we have to toast two pieces of bread and cook the bacon. But we haven't lost an order yet, I don't think. Heck, we might be fine with, with this way that it is. No, we haven't lost an order because our reputation would be less than 100 if we had. money. We used a lot of ingredients, but not too many. We used a fair amount of power. Only 67% efficient. Probably because we could have I mean, slowed down our, our belts to save a little bit of power and probably made it a little more efficient. And I suppose we could have found some way to make, make us use fewer ingredients, but there's an average of 
three ingredients per recipe because this one used like five total items. This one used two, so we couldn't get a whole lot under 200. Yeah, either way. Easy peasy. So here is a side mission called Nothing Works. Let's give it a try. I think this will be our last mission for the night. Let's see, but I think, unless it goes super quick, I think this will be our last mission. Alright, so... Nothing works. 20 orders have to be fulfilled. Power usage has to be less than 1,800 watt-hours. Wow, that's a little bit. Fewer than 130 ingredients. A huge budget, and it looks like we have a couple of meals to prepare. Finally, you're here! I thought I should try my own kitchen layout. I think you'll agree it looks wonderful, but there's a flaw in its design. Please help me. Can you fix it and show me the errors of my ways? Okay, dopamine meal. There's the burger and the fries. Which is just... Uh, let's see, what does he got going on here? Zoom in a little bit. Uh, here's the burger bun and the patty. The potato. Going to the fryer. Getting packaged. Getting coming back in here. Meeting the burger be having been assembled. Chopped and fried. And the heart stopper meal. Lovely. Uh, also needs fries, so he has a splitter going on here to handle the fries going to both. See how well that works for him. Oh, I see. Here's the split ratio. Ah. Okay, that makes sense. So this is making the dopamine meal. This is making... Packaging the fries. This is packaging fries, and this is packaging heart stopper. Okay, so heart stopper is a double cheese, a, a bacon double cheeseburger, and fries. Makes sense. Yeah, there's a ton of excess belt, but the thing works right. I'm not horribly concerned about it. But he says it doesn't work right. The cheese. Bacon. Burgers. The patty. Or the, the patties. The bun. I think his biggest issue right here. What the heck are these computers for? Oh. General purpose 16 bit computer. Creepy. <laughs> wow. That's incredible. And then a 32-bit computer. Interesting. Boy, this is gonna get this is gonna get crazy pretty pretty quick. And soon. A counting machine. Okay, so that that counts items that go through. And then we could send it to, perhaps, one of the computers. What does the advanced order reader do? Um, what if we just look at the description? Oh, that's... That's glorious. That's just... That's the best description I've ever seen. So it... Costs 50% more. Does it maybe connect to more parts? Oops. No, can I actually see what I don't I don't know what makes it advanced. It'd be nice if they told us. A conveyor belt bridge. Well that'll be useful. Did miss anything? I scroll too fast. A repeater. I guess I could have read again read the tooltip. A machine to retransmit a signal to up to four other machines per you need to control larger machines from a single order reader or computer. Okay, so it costs much less than an order reader and consumes much less power than an order reader. So that's useful. <laughs> oh boy. Let's see. 
Canadian skate, robotic arms, and a smart splitter. Smart splitter. Capable of dividing items into two conveyor belts according to their type. Interesting. Alright, so I think we should do most of all here is do some order reading for the two recipes. Uh, dopamine. And we'll control the parts that make the burger here. We'll dispense one burger bun, one raw patty, and turn the grill and the assembler on. And actually, I want a third order reader. Uh, the middle one is going to detect either and control the fry components. At least the main components of the fryer. Uh, no, dispense one potato. Turn it on, turn it on, and turn it on. And I think we're gonna need some repeaters for this. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Actually, I want a repeater for here as well. Take this off, connect it to the repeater. Then we'll connect the repeater to the grill. All three of the machines dedicated to that recipe. Oh, okay. That's cool. And then this will be the same? Next to the repeater. I'm all orders pending. And then the repeater will connect to food processor, the fryer, and the two packaging machines for fries. That's not... Yeah, it is. Okay. We could simplify that by only having one packaging machine, too, for the fries. Let them get processed and then split. So this is going to monitor the heart stopper. Uh, we need it. We're gonna need another repeater for this, I think. Connect to this repeater, which is on while order is pending, and this repeater, which is turn on for. No. Oh. Well, that's not gonna work. One, two, three, four dispensers. Heart stopper needs two cheeses and two meats. I need a second order reader instead of the repeater. All right, one bacon, two meats, two cheeses, and one burger bun. And then this one is monitoring heart stopper for the grill, the food processor, the assembler, and the packaging machine. All the on while order is pending things. All right, just as a kind of simple layout test, start that. Why did it kick that off without kicking the fries? Oh, 
Well, looks like everything is working, functioning. We lost an order. I don't think we're making enough fries. Maybe we shouldn't limit the fries at all. I don't think we should limit the fries at all. We could do this one. Yeah, let's do this one, but let it, let's let it dispense like crazy. And yeah, we can remove some of the excess belts because, well, they're excess. Um, that's why that wasn't listening for the recipe. Okay, the fries go that way, split, go their own way. Probably simplify that somewhere. Oops, dang it. Undo button? Of course not. What did I delete? Maybe deleted something I wasn't using anymore. That's good. You're controlling the items. You're controlling those machines. We'll just let the fries go like crazy. Yeah, no, I do completely unplayable. Mm, we're not getting getting any patties. Oh, I forgot to... Oh, wow. 20, 20 seconds between ingredients? Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Thanks, guys. Let's make this stuff... Oh, wow. Yeah. That's why, because you're an insane robot. it. We had horrible efficiency and horrible satisfaction. But we completed it. Was there any way we could improve that any? Oh, I'm sure. 
Um, let's move these guys back by two. One of the packaging machines for fries here. And get rid of the other one. Because that's an insane idea. I mean, this is still way too many conveyor belts. But other than the power usage, I'm not that worried about it. Um, I think we were dispensing, needing to dispense more to the heart stopper than to the. We should see how many of those actually come in. Wish it told you. How many of those actually come in uh, as dopamine versus heart stoppers? And there's probably a way to simplify this a little bit here as well. Yes, there is. You can go there. Do I want that to go there? Yeah, that's fine. It needs to be a right turn, though. And this stuff can all come down here. Move these, get rid of this, and I think I'll move the bun up there just to balance it out. There's three items coming on here. Well, in that case, we can get rid of one more of these belts and move all of this stuff over one more as well. All right, let's try that. I'm going to try and keep an eye on about a rough split of the number of recipes that come in for each. Actually, there might be, or at least there's more dopamines to start. Now we're about 50 50. Why are the heart stoppers taking so long to assemble? He's in a bun. I need to see where that's going. Going crazy, that is. Nope, not yet. There we are. Alright. Meat. Bacon. Meat. It's taking a long time to to prep the meat, I guess. Because of the frequency. Yeah, she's taking a long time to cook. That's all. And yeah, these belts are just too stinking long. Right. Well, we we did finish it. Does it count that we did it? Okay, it does. We we, just, we finished it. We were just mess monkeying with it. So I think that'll be it for tonight. Um, we're going to raid Phasian. Phasian is playing Jupiter Hell. All right, let's see what that game has to do. It has to say for itself. And uh, so I appreciate everyone coming by tonight. Uh, for our 
was the third foray into Otamashev? Yeah, third foray into Otamashev. And uh, we'll be back tomorrow night, probably, uh, with more oxygen than included. And then, um, if not tomorrow, definitely Saturday. One or the other, if not both. I'm, I'm enjoying it, so I might as well stream most days. Um, so thanks for coming by, and we'll see you next time. Get the raid going. And that's going to take a few seconds, but that's okay. <laughs>